this game aside from falling asleep next to your best friend. He's a starfish as you can see. Making me laugh. Is the game is all about um, people that are trying to become famous on uh, the game's version of YouTube, but it's called Spooktube. trying to get famous by recording scary things and seeing if it'll go viral. The game uh, is called Content War or Content Warning because it is somewhat of a playful horror game, but for the most part it follows the same tried and true method of lethal company, almost down to a T some money to buy some equipment. As you can see, this is your buying screen. You get all these things you can purchase. You have a deadline to reach. As you can see, the deadline on this one is 3,000 views. We are currently at 720. We have two days left to meet this quota. Some of the four players go up. So it's pretty familiar if you've played Lethal Company. It's an indie game. A very small uh, group of people that make it. And it's only $10 Canadian on Steam right now. If you're interested in playing it, I highly, 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 highly suggest playing it with friends. If any of you actually watched this session uh, on Twitch, I streamed a couple nights back. You would hear the bat there between myself and my friend Jackass. We've actually, um, I actually uploaded a video of us playing video games before on this channel. And it 
was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. If you ever hear us play together, see your package gets dropped off from a drone, by the way. Uh, we got a microphone. If you ever hear us, um, our banter back and forth, you wouldn't believe we're friends. All we do is make fun of one another. It's a riot. Been doing it this way since we were 17. So at this point, you get your gear, and then you dis descend. It says so. I always take it as like a spaceship, and you go into this world where you want to film something scary, try to go viral. The artwork in this game is pretty horrifying. For me, it looks like a, a Tim Burton cartoon movie. And if I'm thinking of video games that I've played uh, over the last maybe 10 years, I would think of Little Nightmares artwork, which is very creepy and eerie. If you guys have ever played that, So it's, you get one map to make this quota of 3,000 views. And once you reach this quota, you can actually, um, you get a whole new map. And we only made it to that new map once. I think it's like a hospital or something. This is a factory. This right here, I think, is a callback to Slender the Arrival. Good uh, free to play or a game that was on Steam a year, like 10 years ago, and it clearly influenced these game creators. A game based on uh, folklore legend, internet folklore legend Slenderman. This was the dreaded bathroom. As you can see, you're like in suits. You have an oxygen level in your bottom left and your health on a bottom left. Just like uh, Lethal Company, the timer on this one is your oxygen. Lethal Company is as the day grows longer, more enemies come out that are dangerous. And uh, this one's just a little. Inside the ship, which has happened at one point. Um, the customization with the characters in here is very basic. You have uh, emote faces you could give and just select a color. You can buy additional emotes in the store. After every mission, I guess, or outing where you're trying to get content make some money based on how much content, how much views you got for that particular mission or outing. And you can use that money to buy new gear. Or like I said, cosmetic things such as emotes and suits and stuff. Very, very much like Lethal Company. Right now I'm talking to a viewer in my Twitch chat that I was just playing and won a tournament with on the finals. He actually um, purchased the game and wanted to play with me. That is the most um, docile. He can still kill you if he reaches you, but he's the most um, harmless, I guess, of these monsters. He has a snail head and he moves, a snail shell, and he moves about as fast as a snail does, so... Right now I'm getting chased by this thing that's clearly... Clearly, clearly, clearly... Uh, I shut the door. This is her thing, she actually dives into the ship with you. I didn't know that this time. And she just beat the shit out of me and killed me. As you can see me getting animated. She is clearly... Call back to Little Nightmares. She looks exactly like a Little Nightmare. 
Mars character. And this guy kind of looks like a Dark Souls character, doesn't he? So, about an hour, maybe two hours into playing this game, you pretty much have a, a pretty fair grasp. Oh, and there she is. I'm screaming in the run. I don't know if you guys can hear me. This is why... I, <laughs> this is why I... Oh my goodness, he's getting attacked by her. This is why I had to put the volume all the way down because it was just way too loud. I don't know if the um, enemies have stamina like a character does, but... He's able to get away. She's inspired by little nightmares, though, 100%. But yeah, this game really does give you chills. As I was saying, though, after about two hours, you kind of understand most of the monsters. Um, I've seen a couple of different ones when we got to the different level, but aside from that, I pretty much knew them all. When you perish, you respawn at this little first aid outhouse looking thing and your team takes a hit so this is what you do after the mission you bring your camcorder and you drop it up here and it extracts the video and gets you get a DVD and you go and upload the DVD to Spooktube and this is where the fun and laughter of this really comes out because you get to watch your Watch your videos, and they have fake like lines. They actually get pretty. They actually get pretty uh, repetitive after a while. I'll show up on the side, but you want those numbers there. You can see she's jumping in uh, behind me into the ship, and I close the door, thinking if I close it, she'll get out. But that was a silly mistake on my part. And he's trying to get footage of this uh, snail and her. We only got 354 views, so we didn't really get much there. So when you save this video, it actually does save as a WPG file in your um, on your desktop. So when you quit the game, you'll actually see the video clips on your desktop, which is kind of neat. So that was the one mission. We'll do. I'll, I'll put a bunch here on for you guys monster showcase including some really funny parts but let's move on to the next one so this is actually the very next day the very next game I could have just let it keep running um, we actually encounter a monster that would soon become uh, my buddy Jackass's uh, nemesis that little little nightmares lady with the knife um, is definitely my nemesis. She's always killing me. I think I died to her about three or four times and she would definitely run past the jackass to kill me so uh, eventually we gave her a nickname uh, Shirley Jones which is the mother of an ex-girlfriend I dated back when I was like 19 years old. She's a short little stocky newbie lady who's very loud and animated, and uh, that character just kind of reminds me of her. She would, seems like the kind of person that would try to kill me with a knife, so... Yeah, that's Shirley Jones. <laughs> but we're gonna meet one of Jackass's nemesis is here. Um, which is an odd uh, creature, and annoyingly enough, I wasn't aware that Jack has actually perished, and uh, it cost us both the deaths, as you guys will see here shortly. And this creature here, I don't think we ever encountered again. He like throws acid, or I'm not sure what that, what is he throws when he dives as well. He ended up knocking me down, and uh, sent me running for my life, but I don't think he can run very fast. Or if he can, he just, we outran him. It's not him. Maybe he 
it so beastly, I'm not sure, but... That's kind of the nice thing about when you first start playing these kind of games. Everything's new and fresh and exciting and scary. And so I told Jackass, I'm pretty sure there's another entrance into this um, factory basement, which is... You find out after playing a few times, there's only two entrances down and two exits up. So, I told them I'm pretty sure um, we ran from that way before. And here it is, I told them, yeah, we escaped once coming up from here. And we called this the back door stairs. That's what we ended up calling it towards the end of our time playing. Um, because there is a door behind this stairwell. The other one you guys seen um, at the beginning, there was no door. So as you guys can see, we're pretty screwed. That's the last day for us to reach our 3,000 3, views quota. And we've only got 1,000 views, so... It's not looking good. Here is where we meet Jackass's nemesis. I can actually see it right now. But I didn't know to look for it up until now. And here it is. A starfish, we call it. Now at this point, I didn't realize he actually perished. So, I'm trying to see if I can grab him down. a selfie so I can see him behind me. I think it may be loud with our views. A video replay. If you die, by the way, you don't get to see the replay, which is quite sad sometimes. So he's dead here. And he's not actually telling me he's dead. And, uh, I would have left otherwise. And I'm pretty sure Shirley Jones either kills me or as Jackass laughs and tells me because I can't spectate my own death he can Shirley Jones comes and stabs me after I'm dead I'm getting killed but I don't know if it's Shirley Jones I think it was another monster and then Shirley Jones shows up and stabs me as well Jackass is telling me that's happening right now so that's why I'm laughing my ass off. So when you fail to meet the quota, this depressing thing pops up. About how your dreams are crushed and you're not going to be a content creator. And you never found anything else you wanted to do with your life. It's super depressing. Depressing ending. Um, this game is so, so cheesy. This is actually probably one of the most funniest uh, moments of our time playing this game. I think you guys will get a really good laugh at this if you're paying attention. Um, I actually made a TikTok and a YouTube short about this exact clip because it was just so chaotic in the footage and watching the footage back. Literally had my, my ribs like cramped up from laughter. showcase to uh, show people that want to play this game with their friends perhaps um, just a bunch of chaos ensues as you guys are going to find out um, I'm not sure if there's anything worth showing for our one time we were investigating the hospital Sorry if you see me yawning there. Maybe I'm not sorry. Maybe it's going to help you go to sleep because you're yawning now. This video was shot like 3 o'clock in the morning. As I told you guys, my buddy Jackass owns a Domino's Pizza. And uh, he was working the night shift. And I happened to be staying up to get ready for my, uh, my long night sets coming up. So I actually was awake.
crazy how our lives changed, but a lot stayed the same. When we were in high school, um, I used to work at 8 o'clock at night until midnight, Monday to Friday. And I would work 8 o'clock at night till 4 in the morning on the weekends. That my senior year, I was doing security in an apartment complex. And uh, when he had a day off, work, because I think, yeah, he only had one class this grade 12 year as well. I would actually get off work at 12 o'clock at night, and, um, I would walk from my apartment complex. I was doing security. I didn't have a car, so I walked. And I would walk all the way to his house. I'd get there about quarter to one. And, uh, I know, I actually would meet him at the, the local Mac store most nights. We'd get some junk food and uh, we'd rent a movie. And we'd, uh, we'd watch a movie or we'd play some video games on his Xbox 360. We'd do that till about 4 in the morning, then I'd walk home. This is the part where I'm saying, nah, this is why I had to mute this. Audio. So I'm screaming my guts out here, getting knocked around. I actually didn't get struck the second time. I uh, I hit the cog that was moving that machinery, and I didn't even realize at this point that I was still getting chased. I uh, we'll see it in the footage afterwards. It's really, really hilarious. I don't know at this point if uh, Jack has his live or not, so he's asking me if I ran upstairs because he's desperate to get uh, film footage. He wants to get this monster on footage, so he doesn't know how fast it is, though. I'm trying to warn him that it's really fast. It's got a really big sprint, and now it starts to come and chase him, so yeah, now we're getting the hell out of here. This isn't um, the most views we got for a video clip, believe it or not. Uh, I'll show that one. That one is a really, really funny one as well. But seeing this footage back is what had me. I had my ribs cramped up from laughter. It was so, 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 so funny. And uh, it's one of those things that sold me on this game. And, you know, like a lot of Steam, small indie games like this, they go into early access. And they'd sell the game for cheap to try to build some funds to complete it. And this is one of those games I'm really going to keep track of. And uh, definitely invest in. So we'll pop this DVD in after we convert it. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice. Some things change, some things stay the same. You know, we're basically doing exactly what we were doing when I was in high school. But now as a men full-time jobs and families it's it's really nice so here we are watching it back I can't stop laughing because I'm insulting him in this video and he had no idea I was recording him recording myself insulting him this is why I'm laughing so hard and then this is just perfect I'm screaming out for help here we were both just laughing watching this replay if you hear me into the cog and I'm running and as you can see it's still chasing me even right now it's still right behind me I had no idea right there my my ribs are hurting I'm laughing so hard like I said uh, this is the moment that sold me on this game and uh, it's definitely for an early access it's definitely got positive reviews for me this is a game I actually already bought a copy from my friend Darren. And uh, I'm going to see if my cousin Joey can run this on his laptop. Kind of disappointing. Most of these indie games, um, most of these indie games don't, uh, they have packs. You can buy a pack of four for maybe 
$30 instead of paying $40 to get four individually. I'm really surprised they didn't have a deal like that because I would have bought four and just gifted the rest because it's a great little game to play. And uh, like I said, these early access games, when they take off, um, they're really worth uh, investing in and waiting, and it's nice. Tonight, for example, because this game really got us excited, we watched, uh, or we played Lethal Company and seen some of the updates on there, and that was nice to see, because we haven't touched that game since, oh, I don't know what it was, Halloween, and I'm watching it again, and he's walking away, because he's like, oh god, you're watching, he's going to the bed, see? Alright, so, hey, let's get into this next, I think I'm going to show the clip where we got the most views. You guys will enjoy that one. Okay, um, before that one, I guess I can show you guys a clip of the other map. I don't know if there's more than this uh, second map. Uh, yeah, just to give you guys an idea of what this other map looks like, and it has a very fitting ending, as of course. That I think you guys will have a good laugh at, because it's me. But this is the, di the different map, or the second map you get. I didn't show the first uh, game we played on it. It didn't really end very well. I got knocked off the map. It's like an infinite drop. But it looks like a... I think it's a hospital. This looks like a foyer almost. And you can actually go like a waiting room. And you can go straight down um, to the bottom of the basement from here. That's three levels. And like I said, if you fall off the map, uh, it's death. I think it just says you can't fall off of it, you just can't go past a certain point. So I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what this map is. I haven't really looked it up. If somebody knows, let me know down below. I just call it like a hospital. These look like little like psych ward rooms is what these look like. so paranoid friend who's not just like this in video games, he's like this in real life by the way you guys um, he's afraid that you can fall through the floor because it looks unstable so in typical jackass fashion he dropped all his gear to make sure he didn't lose it and now he's not sure we both can't be on here so I'm telling him that's a little extreme so I'm showing him you can jump on it and both of us and we're fine the only thing I told him is I think maybe if we run through here and a monster runs through there, the monster will fall through, which would kind of be a nice way of getting a monster off your back. Maybe that's possible, but we never did uh, test that out. Uh, yeah, I'm still not sure what this is because there's like a bar area. Uh, like, um, not like for booze, but like, like a cafeteria almost or a cafe. Which I guess could be a food court, and there's this vehicle bay. I'm trying to look now, are these ambulances, maybe? Is this the ambulance bay? Is this what this is supposed to be? I'm not exactly sure, but... They don't particularly look like ambulances, they just look like regular cars. So at this point we're kind of, um, we're kind of dumbfounded, we haven't really seen anything yet, and by now we would see something. This, for me, is the scariest part of this map, like, it's an abyss if you fall down. A little feature you guys probably haven't seen, uh, or paid attention to, but when you go to the ship and your teammate's not there, you can see how far your teammate is distance from the ship. And when I fell, the jackass went back to the ship and it was showing my my distance was at like 11,000 meters. Because uh, I was falling away. So right now I wasn't sure what that was. Jackass informed me it's just the snail man as we've named him. 
So this was our most viral moment of the night. It garnered us, I think, 1.3 thousand views. It must be a very, very rare thing to see because we've only ever seen it once. And it's a pretty cool callback to an, an, a classic horror franchise, as you guys will see. So yes, unfortunately, when you fail to meet the quota in the new base, or the new level, sorry. You're back to the factory. And you gotta do the factory all over again to get back to whatever that is, the hospital, asylum, whatever that other building was. Or that other level, so. I'm just recording some more insults from my buddy Jackass before we get going. It, you ate up a lot of uh, camera battery. I think it's, uh, a second a percent is what it is. Because I think you can only record up to a minute worth of footage, if I'm not mistaken. It's not a whole lot. But this is definitely our most viral moment. And like I said, it was rare because we'd never seen it before. And we'd never seen it after as well. We were going to play it again tonight, like I told you guys, but... This game really put us in a mood to try Lethal Company again, because it had been a while. I figured I'd show you guys maybe the spider monster that we ended up encountering here at one point, but... Um, it's one of the cheapier, cheesier bosses, because it's easy to get away from. This creepy thing is what got us the most viral views. So right now I'm recording, I'm convincing him to go inside in case something happens, but... Looks like nothing's gonna happen, so it's just decoration, I figure. And just as I turn my back and squeeze through here, it grabs Jackass. And this is pretty neat. It wants you to put a code in. You have put 10 seconds, so. But it's, you know, it's not actually 10 seconds. Saw franchise and uh, the Jigsaw Killer, super super neat and unique. Certainly didn't see that coming, and uh, that 
definitely, definitely gains bonus points in my opinion. Because I didn't see that coming. You know, seeing a Jason Voorhees or a Michael Myers or something like that, I would think I would see something um, more so like that for an inspired monster, but uh, yeah, I did not see that coming. And that was actually really cool. I don't think they could actually say let's play a game, but that's exactly what I thought of when I'd seen it. And unfortunately, it was um, Jackass's demise. So we're going to go back to the surface. And like I said, I didn't even use all the film. I have 21% film left. It was our most viral video. So we didn't had any, we had zero money that, to the point where Jackass's hospital bill was zero. But it, it must be because this creature is so unique. And I guess there's risk and reward because it garners so much views that you want to get captured by it and you want to hope that your teammate can do the code, play the game properly. And, um... And you can garner these views. You know, it's almost like a, maybe it's a guaranteed thousand view. As you can see, he's going in there. And I didn't record the whole thing. I just turned around and got him when he was captured. Because I didn't think anything of it. Right there. And it wants me to play a game. He's panicking, screaming, telling me it's stalling me. I only got 15 seconds. And messing it up, it's so funny. And it murdered him. And then I ran the hell out of there. I don't know if it'll kill you as well. I think it's just that's like a mini game that randomly comes in there. I couldn't believe the views though. Like that makes sense. That it's something rare. Um that you want to play that game. Because you're guaranteed to get that many views. As you can see, we got 1.1k views. I think I thought we got 1.2. I guess it's 1.1. All right, let's um, let's look at uh, maybe one more here. All right, let's do one more. So yeah, as we go through this, I'll give this game my review finally as well. I would say. Out of 5 G stars for an early access game, um, I would give this one a 4, maybe a 3.5. 4 is a little high. 3.5, I would say. I will say that I could not see myself playing this game every single day for long hours at a time. This is a game you guys are going to want to play with your friends. So make sure you're doing that and you can't play it by yourself. It's kind of weird if you queue up with strangers because it's all about laughter and laughter and having fun. And but it will get stale after a while. It's got no solo playability in that regard. That's where I'm getting at. So that kind of hurts it. I got to give it some forgiveness on, you know, it's lack of content because it is an early access. This would be one of those games where three to six months from now, I might give it a, put it up again with Jackass, you know, after playing it for a few more, a few more weeks here before we kind of go, okay, we'll wait, and we'll see if anything new happens, um, I don't know if you can hear me, he's being really annoying on that microphone right now, it's kind of obnoxious, but, um, yeah, so we will come back to it for sure. That's how you guys should be treating early access games. Like I said, invest in them. Um, if it seems like a fun game, just spend the $5 to $10. They're usually not that expensive. Helps out to developers and it helps fund the project so they can continue it. Speaking of which, in the world of horror, there's Roxanne Jones' his mom, Shirley Jones again. I know what the fuck with that, so I'm running my ass on out of there. 
Speaking of which, some bad news in a horror front. Um, the Friday the 13th Resurrected game that was to be released this coming Monday from a community of modders that modded Friday the 13th game that was cancelled by Gun Media and Ilphonic um, has been scrapped indefinitely. They were threatened with a lawsuit for releasing additional content even though it was all 100% free. So that's a huge bummer. I was really looking forward to putting out some ASMR Friday the 13th footage for um, my Friday fans. I wasn't doing YouTube content back when I was playing it. It was such a fun game. But it died of, from lack of content and lack of support. You know, a lot of bugs and whatnot were never fixed on it, so... Um, we pretty much couldn't play it anymore, so... Um, another thing I touched on it on, the Texas Chance of Massacre gameplay video I showed you guys is... Uh, because that's the same company because they prematurely gave up on making content for it to focus on the Texas Massacre game because, you know, it hadn't got off to a great start Friday the 13th and I think they just didn't want to put any more content into it so they got lazy so for a group of modders to willingly on their own time free of charge there's Shirley Jones again I'm going to try to get away from her, but as you guys can see, Shirley Jones really hates me for dating her daughter back in the day. So, do I get away? Oh my goodness, you guys, I honestly thought I died from Shirley Jones here. I think he's getting chased by her. Oh, she's still there. She's still chasing me. Oh, and I'm out of stamina. This might not be good. Maybe she does get me. There she is. She's right behind me. So yeah, they gave up on that game, and like the lack of support, and uh, everyone said the same thing when that game was released. Uh, they weren't ready for how big it was. I don't know if they were, you know, I don't know if they were aware of how big uh, the Friday the 13th franchise fans are, you know. It's got to be, lore-wise, it's got to be the Star Wars or Star Trek of, uh, of fan bases in that genre. So, yeah, that's not happening, unfortunately. But, you know what, this game's out, and uh, I managed to play it, and oh no, there's a snail man, and he's going to try to get in here. I'm telling Jackass you're gonna have to hurry, or I'm gonna have to leave you here. I can see his flashlight, he's he's gonna make it. But this game is out, and uh, I'm not sure how you guys are gonna take horror games. I know the Texas a Massacre game, gameplay footage, which I haven't played since, by the way. I should really give that another try. That was for gameplay, got quite a bit of traction on my channel, which was nice to see. Uh, Whispered Gameplay videos are some of my favorite ASMR videos on YouTube. And I know there's a big ASMR gaming community out there that, you know, enjoys watching them and listening to them, so it's, uh, it's funny to be able to put my own stamp on it and make my own content out there of the same kind. So, I think that was the first monster that chased us. No, that was Shirley. That was the first time we've seen good old Shirley Jones. Uh, but, um, yeah, I really just wanted to end this video with this, this footage because, like I said, she's my nemesis. She always kicks my ass. And it's so funny. I was not aware that she was chasing me until I watched this footage back.
I thought I ran far away enough that she's gone, but she runs right past Jackass and she's chasing me, that's why we're laughing. That's why I said she's she's got a grudge against me, man. The whole time you guys probably can't hear because I have the audio turned down. But Jackass is commentating over the boom mic microphone it's just so loud and obnoxious it's hilarious she, she didn't even bother him he was able to just run past all nilly dilly I saved that one because that one's hilarious but okay guys that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you watched it if you used to fall asleep that's great too hopefully you didn't hear my audio too crazy let me know what you guys think about this game if you've played it and let me know if you th are thinking of playing it and what you think from the footage you've seen. And with that being said, guys, have a great day, great night, whatever it may be. And uh, peace.